Good morning, folks. Off to see Rick Astley tonight in Nottingham. The weather is terrible. As you can see there, it's been raining. Not very nice at all. So wet and dank. And I don't think it's windy, though. So Sharon's in the living room at the moment. So I thought I'd get the old bacon and eggs on. I've got the Castori uh, Turbo Blaze on. The bacon's doing all right in there. Got four minutes left. So I'm going to get some eggs on. So we'll whack on the induction hob and that's all fat I was going to put olive oil in there but I'm going to go for butter so let's put a nice knob of curry gold in there I've just done a bit of bacon in there that's why there's a bit of residue in there people but uh, don't worry about that get a few eggs in here Yeah, we will have this. The time now is about 10, 5 to 10. So we'll have this now. We probably won't eat until maybe late afternoon when we're hoping to have a bit of fish in the fish and chip shop. Get these eggs in. Easy. So we'll let them do their thing and I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, got the little plates out, only got our little plates out. The uh oh look at that, the bacon's done. So coming over here now, I'll put the lid on the frying pan because that um, hopefully should have glazed them over. Wish it has perfectly, look at that look. Right, let's turn that off. And let's get this out. I don't know whether or not I've overcooked the eggs. Put there. I think I might have overcooked them a little bit, never mind. Two. And I'll have two eggs. There we go. That's from me. Right, get the bacon out. Loads of bacon. So we'll go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. And I'd like to just put some. Uh, Washing up liquid in there. Get the old hot water on. And just literally leave that in there to soak while we uh, eat our food. And that should soften all that by then. Leave that on there. And there we go, bacon and eggs for three people. Although I've got an extra sheet there, but don't tell them. Sharon? Sure, oh, yes. The Park Plaza Hotel in Nottingham. And you've had a look on the internet and it's, we're about 1.7 miles away from the arena, is that right? Yeah. You thought it was nearer, didn't you? Yeah, I thought it was one of the nearest hotels to it, but there you go, little walk won't kill us. Yeah, anyway, so this is it, this is the reception. Have a look around. Seems to have quite a good certification. Well done, baby. So we're all logged in. The car's nice and safe, locked underneath the car park. We should like Fort Knox, Sharon, isn't it? Uh, you've actually paid for the breakfast as well. Well, it's all part of your birthday present. Of course it was, yeah. Well, I say the kids have paid for it, haven't they? No, I paid for this. Oh, yeah? She said just stand to the thing, didn't Yeah, you? press the button to go up, Sharon. I thought she said that's for your door when you go in. No, she said press the thing at the lift. Yeah, when you get in the lift, it's probably on the inside, remember? Like the other lift we went in before. So we'll take you up to the room, show you about, see what this plaza, is it Park Plaza? Yeah, Park, Park Plaza. Park Plaza Hotel is all about, in Nottingham. Here we go. Here we go. That's it, put your card over there. 
Press your button and up we go, Sharon. Nice little lift. Nice and big. You've got the Chino Italiano restaurant, or Latino rather, restaurant. Ooh. Quick, isn't it? Mm. That's on the ground floor, and that's where we're going to be having our breakfast in the morning, Sharon. Is that right? Yes. Because I didn't think it'd be a carnival. Are we on the third floor? Yes, we are. Here we go. Bedrooms. What, we're 307, aren't we? Yeah, that way. 301 to 315. What can we smell? Show anything? No, it's clean. Clean oh, smell. Carpet, yep. 314. Nicely decorated, show, isn't it? Very clean, yeah. Yeah, wow. there's no stale smells at all, which is a good sign. What are we? 307? Yeah. Here we go, people. Oh. There's already a card in there for the main switch. Ooh, so, oh, you got to push it in though. There you go. Right, okay, so we've just turned all the lights on, folks, and it's a lot brighter in here now. It was very dark when we first came in, wasn't it? Yes. Was it romantic? It might be later on, Sharon, who knows? Ooh. Anyway, let's have a little look around the room, folks. We'll let you see what this is all about. This isn't a premium in what we normally do. This is. Uh, no, I'm trying to show different places for this you. This is a little bit dear in this place, isn't it? How much was this, this place? This was for your birthday, six. It doesn't matter how much it was. Well, it does, because they want to know, Sharon. I actually can't remember. There you go. You'll have to work it out. Probably you'll get a different price whenever you book it anyway. Yeah, as I always say, the only you book things, the cheaper you get things. Yeah. Right, okay, let's have a look around. So, coming in the main door, you've got a massive wardrobe in there. What's in there, Sharon? You've got an ironing board, you've got your iron, there's probably a hair laundry service. Laundry service, oh, hair dryer at the back there, plenty of coat hangers there. What have we got down there? That's a little fridge, anything in there? A oh, water Now, conference. is that complimentary? Yes, it's oh, it is complimentary, there you go, look. Two bottles of uh, complimentary water, which is nice. I don't know what that is. That's a tin opener, isn't it? Yeah, bottle opener. And it's freezing cold as well. That's that, just, just above there. You've got the uh, two cups, you've got a selection of teas and coffees there, original Nescafe, and the little kettle there. Have a look at that, Chef, see what that's like inside. Clean. Spotless. It is spotless and all, folks, look at that, look. Yeah, that's all right, I wouldn't mind drinking out of that. So that's fine. Just above it, there's the safe, and another bit of spare cupboardry up there. Yeah, over here we've got a large flat screen TV, probably about 48 inch or something like that I would imagine. Which is a good size, you have this work desk here. Drawers, one drawer in it. You've got room service, 24 hour room service here, haven't we? Anything yep. here to scan, you get food sent up and everything. Oh I see, yeah, you've got the digital thing there to scan as well. Little ice box there, with obviously with no ice in it. Two tumblers and two wine glasses there. They give you a magazine there. You've also got... Uh, Cat, they I don't know what they are. I'm not sure, they're not USB. It's the old cat cables, the old ones. There's a an old European socket there as well. I suppose it's people. If, people yeah. I've never seen that before, Sharon. Okay, a great big leisure chair. This is nice. Swivel. Uh, probably a, a newspaper rack over there, I would imagine. <laughs> That's for your luggage. Yep, and coming round, it's you've got. Newspapers. Hey? Newspapers. What is it then? Is that a chair? Oh, it's suitcase things. I thought it was bling paper rack, newspaper rack. Who reads that amount of newspapers? <laughs> right, coming over here, Sharon. Two little bedside tables. There is a phone there as well. Zero for reception. They're always old-fashioned phones, Sharon, aren't they? Mm. You see a lot of bleating holiday videos where people have done these things. And they've always got the big old-fashioned phones in as well. What's that you got there? Oh, well, they've got a hotel at London Battersea Power Station. Oh, yeah. Amsterdam. Right, what's these here? That's our cards, isn't it, for the room? We can turn all the lights on and off from the actual bedside, folks. Look, and it is quite dark actually when you're in here. So let's just put them all back on. Little glass tables there with little runners on. They've got glass tops on them, which is nice. The bed, Sharon, you're going to have a lay down. Double pillars. Looks firm. It is firm. Oh yeah. Is it a firm bed? Because nice we, we like a firm pillow. They normally give you one soft and one hard, don't they? 
I think that's a soft one. That might be a firmer one behind it's actually it. actually very comfortable. Well. Right, well, that's my side anyway, so you can get up off of there. Right, okay. Air conditioning. We come in the room. It has got air conditioning. Turn it up, baby. It's set to 22. It's a little bit cool in here, shall So, yeah, we'll just raise the uh, temperature just by a couple of degrees. It's on auto heat at the moment. But uh, anyway, that's that. Coming through to here. There's the bathroom. Stainless steel, very clinical. Looks like a bleeding hospital sink. There's a vanity mirror there as well for shaving, with a shaver socket as well. You get a selection of freebies by the looks of it. I would imagine they're all freebies, Sharon. Uh, shampoos. Oh my God, it's Elemis straight is, in my is bag. Is that good? That is brilliant. Oh, Tracy, Elemis. You can have that. Oh, Sharka. Yes. Two um, glasses there to brush your teeth with as well. This is normally a sign of good housekeeping. Look at that, look. Absolutely spotless, Sharon. On all sides, look, that, that chrome plated thing. No fingerprints on that at all. That's amazing. Couple of hand towels there. And I've never seen that before, look. You've actually got a mirror in the bathroom. Mirror in the bathroom, please come quick. The door is locked, baby, you and me. You remember that song? Who sang that? The beat, wasn't it, Sharon? Yeah. Nice full length bath. Nice mirror on the side. It all got a spot. You've got, um, again, all the glass work. It's all spotless. Nice power shower by the looks of it. A good head on it as well. Oh, there's a loose head as well. So I can see. Oh, what head? Loose one. I can sit in the bath and wash me out with the shower. I thought you said a moose head. No, a loose head. Removable head, should I say. I'm, look I'm looking for a moose in here somewhere, Sharon. Lovely clean toilet. Yeah, nice clean toilet. Toilet roll holder there, which is nice, and a spare toilet it's roll as well. Spot. What's that down there? Is that a bags? Ladies bag. things. Who ladies things? <laughs> and a telephone share. If you get stuck on the old having a pony, you yeah. can call me up and I'll uh, get you off it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, nice size bathroom, all clean as well. Frosted glass door on one side. Coming out, yeah, looks very cosy. Wooden floor. Well, I say wooden. It's probably laminate floor there. With carpeted floor on this part of the uh, the room, the and all in all, is that is that like Hessian newspaper there? Newspaper, wallpaper, wallpaper sorry. Paper. Yeah, I don't know what that is showing up. It's a blinking trap door there to get out. Look, what's that all about? Anyway, that's it. And on the mirror it says, "You can find inspiration in everything. If you can't, then you're not looking properly." And Paul Smith said that. Show whoever he is. What are you done, handbags? Did he? Paul Smith. There you go. What about the fashion designer? Yeah. Bullshit, guys. Happy days. Oh, it's a sound a bit funny. It's a bit though. noisy, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway. Right, so that's our room inspection, folks. I'm going to have to get this video up now. This is just a little preview video because we've got to obviously have something to eat a little bit later on. Um, oh, no, we're not going to do that. Oh, we're going to have something to eat in a minute, are we? Oh, I was going to have a bath. Okay, we'll have something to eat. Yeah. Right, so we're going to go out now. It's pouring down with rain outside. We're going to try and find something to eat. And uh, probably a bit of fish, or maybe, but I don't know, kebab meat or something like that. Something with plenty of warmth in it, Sharon. So, come and see what we can find, because later on it'll be dark, folks. So, we're going to go out now, have a little look around. See you in a minute. Right, we're out in deepest, darkest Nottingham, Sharon. Deepest, darkest. Now, we didn't know whether to have a kebab or fish and chips, but um, we're going to basically try for the kebab first, aren't we? Am I both? <laughs> Come on! So we're just trying to find out where we are folks. We're on Google Maps at the moment and we believe it's down here somewhere, Shay, yeah, don't we? Come on in. So let's have a little look. There's loads of eateries down this way, but um just depends what you want at the end of the day. We don't want nothing sort of too processed to be honest with you. So uh we're very limited really to what we can have in these shops. I should Sharon, I should have bought my little stove out. <laughs> hey. I ain't sitting here, I tell you that for nothing. You're on your own for that one. What's the one you found on there? I can't remember what it was called. I don't know, but there's a... Las um, Vegas Shawarma. Las Vegas Shawarma. It had a good rating, didn't it? You've got Taco Bell there. Those of them, there's Mega Munch pizzas and kebabs over there. Again, what's the review on that? Oh, you know, yeah. well, Are we not at that one yet, shall No, but they've got a five rating. they got a five rating? Let's go and have a look in yeah. the window, eh? Yeah. Oh, hello. Go on, off you go, shall Oh, well, Ohan's Gourmet Burger, look, but again, it's buns, isn't it? It's buns, we don't want the buns. And know that you'll be paying top dollar for that, Shay, you know what I mean? Don't know. Let's have a look down here a bit further. Well, put it this way, the two tables are gone. The what? Two tables are gone. 
Right, there's two tables. You've got KFC. Oh, we're right by the main... Um, yeah, that's where the ice rink was and all bit, that, yeah. wasn't it? It all looks different, Shan, now there's no Christmas stuff here. Yeah. Right in the centre of Nottingham now, Shan. I must say, Shan, it's very, <laughs> very quiet around here, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's raining, isn't it? Yeah, I know that, but it's a town centre, isn't it? Yeah, it's what day of the week is it? It's a Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, well, Friday would, and would, Saturday would be I would have like expected it to be a lot busier than this. Even the roads are quiet. I know they've got trams here or whatever, but... Um, you got Five Guys Burgers over there, which I've never had, but obviously we're not eating the buns and all that and all the sauces they put on them, so we can't have that. I'll tell you what though, if you're not on this start, there's loads of places to eat. Oh yeah, there's loads of places to eat. And I think the nightlife, we come here for the Rat Pack concert, didn't we? Yeah. And at night time, Nottingham comes to life. Every bar we walk past, absolutely packed. Loads of life at night. Slim chicken, Sharon, look. Yeah. So there's your main uh, meeting point. I think people meet by these lions there, don't they, Shell? And if we just come around here, just looking up here where I think we've got to go, this is where the statue for Brian Clough is, the old uh, Nottingham Forest manager from the 70s and possibly the early 80s. She just said turn right just down King Street. This is King Street. If I turn right, I'll go in there. This is King Street, Shell? Yeah. I hate this, I hate it. It's not very accurate, is it? No. I don't know if there's a better one out there, folks. We just use the Google Maps. And for go the car, on. it's good. Walking. Oh, yeah. We've got here on no. the car today, but. Um, it's not clear at all. For walking, it sort of does its own thing, doesn't it? Right. Hopefully, it should be down here somewhere, Sharon. Oh, it's Popeyes. Yeah, Popeyes. That's a chicken place over there. Are we lost? I think we've got to go out there. Where's McDonald's? It says oh. I'm buying McDonald's. Oh, I don't know. That's King's Walk over there. All looks very confusing, folks. Shall I have a look? So it's just turn, turn, left. It's going no. straight up there. Is it up there, road? That way, isn't it? Well, just do what it says, shall Do what it says. This is King's Walk down here. Hang on, watch Hope you don't mind having a little walk about Nottingham, people. We're not sure exactly where we're going, but... Uh, Can you see the Moulin Rouge? Moulin Rouge? Yeah. Nope. Right, Might be at the top here, Sharon, I don't know. Yeah, if you lot ain't been to Nottingham before, this will give you some sort of idea. Son of steak over there, Sharon. Well, everything she's saying is here, isn't here. Got, got to be down here, Sharon. Got to be down here, baby. There you go, you want to dance? Go to the Roxy Ballroom there, look. American pool, ping pong, karaoke. That's not bad, look. Yeah, if they had a eat what you want thing, where we could choose our own stuff, that wouldn't be too bad, yeah. What's that over there? Bottomless munchbox, every day between 12 and four, what's that? Son of steak. No, the bottomless munchbox, that's uh, 35 pound per person, folks, so we won't be having that at all. We go and look for our kebab shop again. We can have a, a large plate of Donner or chicken meat or whatever. We think we're down the end of this road here. Very confusing. Well, this ain't raining, Sharon. It is raining. Well, a little bit. Here we go. It's only a little shop, but uh, it's got a good rating. Find out if they're open. Yeah, we just ordered. We're going to have the um, large donut and mixed chicken, and we're going to try the chicken strips as well. Lucky enough, there's a big umbrella outside. We can sit outside there. He's just cooking it up for us, and uh, happy days. We'll be eating this in a second, folks. No carbs, or very, very little carbs on the chicken, I think. It's got a little bit of breaded stuff on it. Anyway, see you in a minute. Right, so we ordered two large ones, Sharon. Two large mixed kebabs without anything on, apart from a bit of chilli sauce. What's it like? Go on, go in, baby. Oh! Huh. Nice, very nice, very actually. Nice, that chicken's yeah. nice. Yeah, technically speaking, uh, we may, may not have had the uh, chilli sauce on, but just add so much flavour. Let's have a little look at this, folks. Thank God the chilli sauce isn't too hot. 
So this only comes to £22.99. Oh, that's good. And that's with, this was £5 or something, five, £5.99, I think, for the chicken strips there. So we've got that. He's also put a load of uh, chilli sauce in the lid for us. So try a bit of the Donner meat, shall I? I have done. It's very nice. Mm. Absolutely. See, if you've got it out, you've got to sort of tailor your food to what you could eat when you're doing what we're doing. Can I have a bit? Right, okay. So, I do love a kebab. It's funny without the pita bread, though, Sharon. I'll give you that. No, it's a salad I'm missing. And the salad, yeah, I do enjoy the salad. I love raw onion with me kebab. Mmm. That is good. Nice and spicy, that. It's Chili not too hot though, is it? No, it's all right, it's all right. A bit of that chicken. It's more spicy than the heat, isn't mm. it? That's very tasty. I want to try one of these. I know it's got bread crumbs on it or whatever, but I just wanted to try these. Mmm. Crunchy outside, yeah? Very good, very nice, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we're going to tuck into this, folks, and see when we've had it. So this far, This is Cheryl. classed as eating out, okay, people? Eating out, outside. Well. Very tasty. You managed to finish it. But I over-ordered it again, didn't I? Like you always do. I highly recommend Las Vegas Shawarma yep. in Nottingham. Fantastic. Mm. So tasty. Not greasy. No. I know it's just kebab meat, folks, but when you're on the carnivore diet, what was the difference to that? Than having, we've been having sort of steaks and stuff, haven't we? Yeah. It was just such a different variety of flavours there, wasn't it? It was very tasty. The meat was <clears throat> very spicy, which was nice. That chilli sauce did help. And them chicken strips, I didn't eat them all. There's still four left in there, folks. But um, again, overall, we probably won't even eat them, shall we? But we'll take them because we've already paid for them. But all in all, that's the only thing we're going to be eating today now. We're, the time now is four o'clock. Then they're all going now. Hey. They're all saying Sharon's on the carnival. <laughs> yes, I am. Not for good. Just for a little while, I'm trying it out. And she's noticed. Well, I've noticed a difference in her already. So. And uh, yeah. um, when I come off this, I will be going back to keto. Yeah, but you're doing it in between at the moment because Sundays you're going to be having your green veg with your roast. Yeah. Keto vol show, I think they call it. There is a, that is a thing apparently. I must say, this is day four now, and you're not hungry. You're not hungry. You're, you're not no hungry. No cravings. No. No. And I feel all right. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Yeah. And Martin has done his research, like we've said before. And I don't need to do it like Martin does because I haven't got diabetes or nothing like that. But I am, as you all know, overweight. Yeah. Well, so my, that's my, my reason. My diabetes was six point two this yeah. morning. My so level. that has actually corrected Martin's, which has been 1970. All year, last yep. year. All last year it was And high, he's done it? so many, how many days? This is not, what's the date today? 20th, I think. 20th, I started on the 1st of February. Right, so he's been on this since 22 the 1st days. of February. And he sorted out what he couldn't sort out in a year in 20 days. So yeah. there you go, people. Yeah. There you, I know you're only saying nice things that you're worried about him, but yeah. it's absolutely fine. I feel fine. I've tried it. I'm giving it a go for so I don't know how many days I'm going to do yet. I've started at 10. I might increase it. I, don't, I might do it till we go away on holiday. I don't know. Yeah. Just going to see. Cause you don't know, baby. I get very fed up with food. Yeah. This is my problem. Yeah. I know I'll hand you back to my. How can you get fed up with a ribeye steak? I do because you have it every night. I know. I don't appreciate it. Yeah, see, but you've enjoyed that, don't you? You just I have said enjoyed now, that. You thoroughly enjoyed that. Well, the other day, I had a pork chop with belly pork, and I really did enjoy mm -hmm. that with me chili flakes on. Yeah, and I'll say it again, folks. I've said it all the time. This is just what we're doing. We show you a day in our life. This is what we're doing in our life. <laughs> May not be for you. Your trainings and teachers might be different. Whatever you believe is also fine. But the bottom line is, as I looked at the way health has gone from the 1950s to where we are now, and we're, we're sicker as a, as, a, as a race. And even if you, you know, you, you ask yourself a question, people like the Inuits, or as you used to be known as Eskimos, back in 40, 50 years ago, they didn't have a, a word for heart attack. They never had heart attack, never heard of it. Now they've got the Western diet, apparently so many Inuits now have got diabetes, uh, obesity, uh, heart problems, 
and it's the same with the, with the Chinese population. When they went westernised with their food, it's exactly the same. It's all running out of control. And the common denominator is processed food. It's not what we was told, fat. That was all funded by the sugar companies back in the 50s. They paid for all the research and made fat the bad guy. Do your research, folks. I've done mine. Anyway, shall? Yes. Back to the hotel room. Yes. We've got to have a lay down after that. I've got to have a bath for washing my hair for me night out to see Rick Astley. But they won't be able to see it. I don't care. I know I'm clean and smell good. So we'll, we're going to make our video finish now, folks, because we're going to make it finish, yeah? What am I saying? We're going to end the video here, folks, and uh, the reason being is because I've got to edit this video, get it out for you for tonight so that you've got something to watch tonight while we're out and about. So I've got to start work when we get home. Anyway, thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye-bye.